Which one of these box sets is a bootleg? What does it really matter though? The bootleg's probably made by real fans anyway. Well, in my experience at least, bootlegs are usually made by pirates out for a quick buck, not the kind of fans who labor over careful translations. Most of the bootlegs I've seen use terrible, terrible subs thrown together by people who frankly don't know either Japanese or English very well. For example, uh, before Turn A Gundam was licensed, I procured a bootleg so I could actually check it out. And the translation was so bad, I could only understand about half of the sentences. Not just bad grammar, just incomprehensible. The mecha were called machine muppets for crying out loud. So it matters. And in fact, two of these are bootlegs. The, uh, the Serial Experiments Lane box set and the Gundam Seed Destiny box set here. So how could you tell? Well, probably not from the front, actually. You have to flip it over. Uh, the first thing is to look at the stuff at the bottom here. Note that there are no, like, corporate logos down here. There's no barcode. Probably not legitimate. Pirates have no need for copyright messages and such, but they may throw something down there. But it's kind of, um, kind of odd. Also, look for uh, the logos on the back. Do you recognize any of these companies, or is it just like generic clip art, like that one? Probably not legit. You know, there's no Sunrise or Bondi logo on the back of this one. Probably weird. Um, further, if the back of the box lists translations, look at those. This one has Chinese and English subtitles. If it lists multiple subtitle languages, you should probably be suspicious. Because so much anime is still produced for specific areas of the world, it's very unlikely a legit release will include both English and Chinese subtitles, for example. Now, granted, that is changing. Uh, Blu-rays are now being marketed to multiple regions, Gundam in particular. Uh, their Blu-rays often include a whole bunch of subs and dubs, but you'll also see the Bondi and Sunrise logo on the back there somewhere. Uh, so probably not legit. One final sniff test. Open the box set, if you can, and look at the art inside, or on the, the back. Is it grainy, or does it just look off? Now, I've seen legitimate releases with art problems, but I'm talking about, like, stretched faces and obvious pixelation. That's not the greatest image of, of Shin there. Um, stuff like that. Nonsensical cropping. Just weird art. Now, if you have a bootleg, what should you do? You should probably pick up a legit copy eventually, but... Otherwise, the pirate's not going to take it back. You have it now. Have fun with it. See if you can make sense of the subs and enjoy your machine muppets.